Nay, then I cannot blame his cousin king that wished him on the barren mountain starve. But shall it be that you that set the crown upon the head of this forgetful man, and for his sake wear the detested blot of murderous subornation, shall it be that you a world of curses undergo, being the agents or base second means, the cords, the ladder, or the hangman, rather? Oh, pardon me that I descend so low to show the line and the predicament wherein you range under this subtle king. Shall it? For shame be spoken in these days, or fill up chronicles in time to come, that men of your nobility and power did gauge them both in an unjust behalf, as both of you, God pardon it, have done, to put down Richard, that sweet, lovely rose, and plant this thorn, this canker, Bolingbroke. And shall in more shame be further spoken that you are fools? discarded and shook off by him for whom these shames ye underwent? No. Time yet serves wherein you may redeem your banished honors and restore yourselves to the good thoughts of the world again. Revenge the jeering and disdained contempt of this proud king who studies day and night to answer all of your debts, even with the bloody payment of your deaths.